GNOME is a Linux desktop environment that is often called out for being way less customizable than other ones, namely KDE Plasma and XFCE. And to be honest, it's actually not that surprising. The GNOME team does a really good job of streamlining GNOME's user experience to improve the overall feel of consistency, while also making it easier for a lot of third-party developers by focusing on one specific design. But many see this as a problem, mainly because it limits the amount of variation of designs. But also, many just don't like the look and feel of GDK4 and Lippert Vita. Everyone has a different taste and their personal preferences, and that's fair. On the other side, there are many out there who do want to use GNOME, since it has a lot of features that are just not implemented that well on other desktop environments, but just don't like how it operates. Some prefer a traditional taskbar, some don't like its simplicity, and some don't like it that it's missing desktop icons. Whatever your personal preferences are, in this video I'm going to show you the, in my opinion, best GNOME extensions out there, which can either fix or even improve your current GNOME experience. But before we jump in, let me remind you that you don't forget to give this video a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, then why not also subscribe to the channel? If you know about more extensions or useful utilities, then please make sure to also share them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear about it. Okay, starting off. If you are not running an ultra low spec machine from like 20 years ago and want to spice up GNOME's default grey look, then look no further than the Blur My Shell extension, which does exactly what it says it does. It blurs the default GNOME shell with your current wallpaper behind it. And in my opinion, it just looks so much better. In fact, many others also wonder why this extension doesn't ship with GNOME by default. I mean the performance difference is literally negligible. You can customize the intensity of the blur, where it should apply, and recently you can even add custom windows. Though this feature is still in beta, and you need to do some additional work to get it running. Overall, the Blur My Shell extension is the most easiest and fastest way to improve GNOME's default look, and in my opinion, it's a must have. Next up, let's talk about the user experience. Many coming from Windows or Mac OS, or even from other Linux distributions and desktop environments, often prefer a taskbar or a dock in contrast to GNOME's hidden way to open applications. Meet dash to dock and dash to panel, which create an application dock or a taskbar respectively. The dash to panel extension in particular is the one that you want to use if you prefer a taskbar workflow like on Windows. Right after the installation, it already pins your favorite applications on the left while putting the calendar and GNOME's quick settings to the right. You can access useful utilities by right clicking on it and customize it to your personal liking. You want to center your icons like on Windows 11? No problem. You want the calendar on the left side? Sure. You can show or hide the taskbar dynamically and also decide on which screens it should get displayed. In combination with the Blur My Shell extension, you can also add this nice blur to it. If you however prefer a smaller dock with just the applications, then the Dash to Dock extension is for you. I personally also use it on my Microsoft Surface, whereas I set it to hide when I use full screen applications. This easily allows me to quickly launch applications without a mouse or keyboard, while also not compromising my effective screen size. Sadly, while the Blur My Shell extension would be compatible with it, it cannot render rounded corners due to limitations in GNOME, but you can work around that issue if you want to have a blurry shell. Another useful but lesser known extension, if you want the best of both worlds, is the App Icons Taskbar extension, which behaves similar like Dash to Panel, but integrates more nicely with the standard GNOME design. I just wanted to let you know if you're interested. The most popular extension, mainly because it ships pre-installed on a lot of Linux distributions, is the User Theme extension, which allows you to install and select custom GNOME themes. Just enable it, search and download a theme from the internet and place it in the hidden.themes folder in your user's directory. If the theme does not need any additional configuration, then you can already select it in either the extension settings or in GNOME tweaks and change the default libadvita theme to something way different. Pretty cool, right? 
Oh, and speaking of user themes, did you know that if you have the user themes extension installed, you can also use custom accent colors and change the default color scheme? This is not natively supported in vanilla GNOME yet, but with this extension, it does become possible. If you are someone who doesn't really like GNOME's default full screen application menu, especially when using the dash to panel extension, then you might be interested in Arc Menu, which simply creates a Windows like start menu. You can select between many different default layouts, some of them are even coming from different operating systems, customize which applications and icons should be visible by default, and how the menu itself looks on your desktop. I'm not sure if it is compatible with the Blur My Shell extension, since I couldn't manage to get it running, but there are other ways how you can make it look awesome. One thing that I really like about Arc Menu is that you can import and export your current settings, which is really useful if you have several PCs or just like to switch between several designs from time to time. Alright, so one thing that has always bothered me in GNOME was that they removed the ability to display background applications. GNOME 44 did bring this functionality back, however it does not work for all applications. So let's fix that. There are actually several extensions out there that behave similar, but the one that worked the best for me and also keeps getting updated is the App Indicator and Case Status Notifier Item Support extension. And just like that, similar like on Windows and macOS, you always know what is currently running in the background and you can even interact with application quick settings if the developers provide them. It also works with Dash to Panel by the way. In my opinion, just like Blur My Shell, this extension is a must have for GNOME users. Another useful application for the top bar or a panel is Vitals. Vitals is a very cool extension which always lets you know how much resources your system is currently taking up. It's essentially a mixture between GNOME's monitoring tool and Windows Task Manager. You can add or remove hardware that gets displayed, adjust units and even pin or remove values with a right click. For example, on my Surface I always like it to display how long my battery is still going to last. One more extension that might be useful to some is GS Connect and it is essentially what KD Connect is on Plasma. In contrast to other extensions, GS Connect does not utilize other applications in the background, but is in fact its own implementation. You can connect your smartphone to send text messages, quickly access your files and toggle features remotely. Another extension that might be useful for some is the Open Weather extension, which behaves just like the weather widget on Windows and integrates nicely into GNOME Dash as well as other extensions. Maybe you want it, I don't know. And last but not least, an extension that fixes that annoying problem that when you lock GNOME, that it automatically turns off your display. I know that some might prefer it that way because it saves power, but from experience I can tell you that even the smallest amount of mouse movement just wakes it up anyway, which can be a bit of an annoyance if you actually want to unlock your PC then. Anyway, this is how you fix it. And there, those were the n uh, um, hi there. I actually forgot one minor extension, which might be pretty important, and that is if you want GNOME desktop icons, then make sure to install the desktop icons and G extension, or a short thing. But be aware that on some distributions, you might need to right click the icon and make it executable. And there, those were, then my opinion, best GNOME extensions that you can install to improve your personal user experience. So if I could show you something new today or you just like the video, then please make sure to show it. And why not also subscribe to the channel as well? If you feel like I've missed some extensions, then please make sure to let us know in the comments down below. And while I read them, you can already watch another video. And all that's left to say now is... Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.